Hello, and welcome to Virtual Princeton Features. No one wanted the school year to look like this, but students from all over Princeton's new virtual campus have found fun and interesting ways to keep themselves occupied during the pandemic. So we here at the Prince thought, why not showcase different students in their new Princeton lifestyle during the school year? So we head out only a few minutes away from Princeton's actual location and go meet up with Paige Allen for our first virtual Princeton feature. Hi everyone, my name is Paige. I'm a senior in the English department and I'm very excited to show you what my life at Princeton looks like now that we're in a pandemic. My name is Paige. I'm a senior in the English department, um, also getting certificates in creative writing, humanistic studies, theater, and music theater. Um, I'm super excited to be um, on the vlog today um, and to share a little bit about what virtual Princeton looks like for me. So obviously a lot has changed. <laughs> um, there's a lot less movement in a day. <laughs> I feel like I'm just more confined, um, so trying to get my body moving. Um, I didn't realize how much I walk <laughs> between spaces on campus until I was no longer doing it. Um, I also miss kind of the spontaneous interactions. Like it's much harder to kind of like just have casual conversations with people or run into someone because we're not doing that. Um, so I miss a lot of that. Um, and I miss, you know, as someone who does a lot of theater, live theater is not a thing right now. Um, so I miss like, large group activities um, in that capacity, miss people, um, all the in-person in stuff. I'm living with five other people in a house um, off campus. It's about a 35 minute walk from um, Princeton's campus. So not, not right next door, um, <laughs> but in, in suburban Princeton. Um, in our house, it's five seniors and one sophomore. Um, we're a lot of uh, close friends um, and uh, it's been just like a really, it's a really cute, really beautiful house um, that we were really lucky to get kind of early in the process because um, since seniors weren't going to be invited back to campus and we knew that pretty early, um, we were planning this kind of earlier in the summer compared to the kind of last minute decision that left a lot of first years and juniors kind of in the lurch about um, housing. Um, <laughs> but I'm used to kind of being an only child. Um, so this is definitely like more people than I've lived with before. Um, I have a single room in, in our um, house. So that's really nice because I think I get to still kind of have my own space. Um, but I've really enjoyed like, especially since in this pandemic, we don't get those kind of casual conversations or just like, human interaction while you're in the middle of doing something else. Um, it's been really nice to just be able to like go downstairs and someone else is in the living room watching something on TV and I can just join them or eating dinner together um, or just like having late night conversations with people and not feeling like I need to like keep my voice down like because my parents are sleeping one room over. We have this <laughs> very elaborate schedule <laughs> that is on our fridge. Um, that designates everyone's classes and like recurring meetings and like what room in the house they're going to be taking those classes and meetings. Some parts aren't really changed, like reading a book has not changed. <laughs> um, but I think the biggest thing is not kind of having those designated spaces to do work. Like we've done our best to kind of recreate that here in this house, but um, I still often feel like I wish I could like go to Firestone or go to a library where I could really just like go there. That could be my workspace where I study, I do my essay, I get my work done and then leave that <laughs> and leave that space and go somewhere else. Um, and I think that's been the hardest part. I lived kind of with my parents at home over the summer and all of that was my one, like my bedroom, like felt like it was like all of those spaces in one. And I think that's the most difficult part about this like virtual studying. I'm writing a senior thesis with the creative writing program. So it's a collection of short stories. Um, I started it over the summer because creative writing has some pretty stringent um, early deadlines. And we had to have in like, a chunk of a chunk of work kind of by August, ideally um, by the end of August. So I have started it. Um, <laughs> how much work is actually getting done is a whole other story. <laughs> like I said at the beginning, um, I'm a theater and music theater certificate student. And so my theater thesis this year is 
um, putting on a production of a new play by Emma Watkins, who is a class of 2018 grad um, from Princeton. I feel like so over the moon and lucky to be living in this house with these people because we all are theater people. We did not design this house in order to do our senior thesis, but it very quickly became apparent that um, the best plan for us to do our thesis was instead of doing it over Zoom, to be doing it in this house with these people. Um, so me and another senior girl, Eliana, who is directing it, um, proposed this show and it's a new play um, about a woman named Charlotte Guest who um, lived in the Victorian era in um, Wales and became the first person to translate this collection of ancient Welsh stories into English. Um, so the play kind of follows her life and um, follows the characters um, of the story that she's translating as they interact with her. It's super fun. A lot of like acrobatics and um, magic and transformations and stuff. Now I'm sure that other wives elsewhere are more interested in rattling off bits of the Bible or passages on road growing. I love like dining hall life. Um, I know that the food is not always the greatest, but like the ease of being able to just w walk into a dining hall and like load up on whatever you want. Um, it's sad to lose that for sure. Um, in our um, house, everybody kind of has different eating restrictions and eating styles. We've been mainly making vegan food um, because it's easiest to kind of like go to the vegan and have maybe like a few things that are non-vegan um, for the non-vegans. And I've actually really enjoyed that um, because that's not something that I normally eat. I didn't kind of like grow up eating um, vegan food. Um, so I'm kind of like learning, learning new ways of like cooking things, um, learning new ways of um, new types of food from different cultures. We have been getting some takeout too when we're just kind of like tired and not in the mood. Um, we'll, we've been getting takeout. I am the president of Princeton University Players, um, Princeton's only entirely student-run musical theater group. Um, so. Not everyone gets to live in a house of people that are putting on a show. <laughs> a lot of people are not doing that. Um, so us at, we at PUP have been really trying to figure out how virtual theater works. Um, the same goes for all of the student theater groups on campus. Um, so I'm involved in a virtual um, a podcast production of As You Like It that Theater On Team is putting on. PUP, I've been working with a lot of our directors on our all Frosh Cabaret and on our, we're having a kind of live, Zoom live Rocky Horror production at the end of October. Um, so a lot of kind of working on what can theater look like over Zoom? Um, how can we be there for people both to kind of create artistically, but also just to have fun? Like we've been doing a lot of game nights, um, playing like, code names online, um, just uh, hanging out on Zoom, which it can, you know, it can get tiring to be in front of a screen, but having those kind of just casual Zoom spaces. Oh, one tip. <laughs> I feel like there's so many things I could talk about. Um, but I think like really boundaries would be the one word that comes to mind. And that can mean a lot of different things depending on your situation. but. I think spatial boundaries are important. Like I sit at this desk to do my work and um, trying not to do work on my bed because that's like the place where I sleep, but also trying to get out of this room to do work when possible and kind of designating workspaces, boundaries. It can also be if you're also like me, living with other people for the first time, what are the boundaries within that house and like whose responsibilities are to do what things, whose spaces are what can be important. Now I feel like I have to be on at all times um, with the way like technology is like constantly in my face. So literally just being like, I'm gonna watch a movie every Saturday night with my friends. And that is a standing, <laughs> that's a standing appointment that has to happen. Um, kind of tricking myself into like viewing it as like an obligation when it's really just like, this is fun time giving yourself time to breathe, going on a walk, um, and if you need to like really, really value and um, protect your, your time to just be by yourself or doing fun things with your friends. Well, that's it everyone. Thanks for tuning into this vlog. I hope you enjoyed hearing a little about me and what virtual Princeton looks like for me. Tune in next time for another vlog by another student through the Daily Prince telling you about what virtual Princeton looks like for them. 
Stay safe.